Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the key differences and similarities between two very popular budget DSLRs. Firstly, the Nikon D3400, one of my favorite cameras from last year, and also the brand new Canon SL2 or 200D. And guys, in case you didn't know, I'm currently doing a huge giveaway. One lucky subscriber is gonna win a Canon SL2 or a Nikon D3400. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel and my brand new travel channel, which is linked down below. And guys, if you make YouTube videos, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list that I just made, the best cameras for YouTube. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video, and you can take a look. But anyway, let's compare these two very popular DSLRs. So I wanna start off this comparison by first talking about the build quality of the Nikon D3400 and the Canon SL2. Now, the Nikon D3400 was one of my favorite DSLRs from last year, and one of the reasons was its size. It's an absolutely tiny DSLR. But I also liked just how well it was built. It really does feel like a solid, yet small DSLR. The Canon SL2 is also an incredibly small body. In fact, it actually feels a little bit smaller than the D3400 when you get it side by side. Both of these cameras have one main dial on the right hand side and buttons where you'd expect them to be. And honestly, both cameras would be great for travel. One area though where I found that the Nikon D3400 was a lot better than the Canon SL2 was with battery life. I was able to get over a thousand shots taken on the D3400, which is quite simply incredible before the battery ran out. With the Canon SL2 on the other hand, I was getting around 600. In video mode, both cameras were pretty similar and it wasn't a huge amount of battery life, but Overall, in terms of battery life, if you do know that you need to shoot for a longer day, say you're at a wedding or something like that, go for the Nikon D3400 or get an extra battery for the Canon SL2. Now, one of the big differences that you'll notice between these two cameras very quickly is that on the back here, we don't have an articulating screen on the Nikon D3400 and on the Canon SL2, we do. The D3400 has a regular LCD screen, which is actually really quite good, honestly. I found it works fantastic in bright situations outside when there's a lot of light. The difference though is that the Canon SL2 has a fully articulating screen. This means that it can flip out, you can take shots from up high, you can take shots from down low, you can even flip it all the way to the front. If you're thinking about using your DSLR for filming yourself at all, like I'm doing right now, being able to see yourself with a screen is a nice bonus because you can get that composition right and make sure you're in focus. Now staying on the topic of the LCD screens, another big difference between these two cameras is that the Canon SL2 has a touch screen, whereas the Nikon D3400 doesn't. You know, for a lot of people, that's not really gonna be a big deal as DSLRs have traditionally not had them, but I've actually really come to like using them since I started using them on the Canon 70D a couple of years ago. It really does make it so easy just to change your settings and also using it to tap to focus, that's another really nice feature that you can have on the Canon SL2. In terms of stills autofocus performance, I actually found that the Nikon D3400 had better performance in general. Both cameras were very snappy in most conditions, but I did find that the D3400 was slightly quicker in locking onto subjects. You know, this could be because the D3400 has 11 autofocus points, whereas the Canon SL2 has only nine autofocus points. Now, one of the big new features on the Canon SL2 is its upgraded autofocus system in video mode, which I think is a lot better than it is on the Nikon D3400. So the SL2 got an upgrade to dual pixel autofocus, which is actually found in much more expensive cameras from Canon, such as the 80D, the 77D, T7i, and 5D Mark IV. So with dual pixel autofocus, wherever you point on your camera, it's gonna smoothly and cinematically come into focus. It's really so easy to use, and once you've used it before, you never wanna use anything else. And if you pair that up with a touch screen, you can simply touch on the screen and whatever you want to be in focus, it'll do it and the focus just works for you. The D3400 in video mode is nowhere near as good, unfortunately. And if you pair that up with the fact that the D3400 doesn't have a touch screen either, it really does fall short. So if you are considering using a camera for video, I'd highly recommend getting the SL2. Now staying on the topic of video, uh, another key difference between these two cameras is on the side of the cameras right here. The Canon SL2 includes a microphone jack, whereas the Nikon D3400 doesn't. Now, if you're just gonna be using the camera just for some casual shoots, uh, it's not a problem. 
But if you do wanna get into making YouTube videos or get into filmmaking, you know, having that audio jack is a pretty big deal as it means you can add a shotgun mic or a wireless mic to record much better audio. It's a pity that the Nikon D3400 didn't have this because it would have been such a nice inclusion to have. But if you are just mainly shooting stills, another thing you might wanna consider is the burst rate of both of these cameras or the frames per second that they can shoot. So both cameras can shoot at a pretty impressive five frames per second. Honestly, for most shooters, this is gonna be more than enough for some sports and wildlife until you're ready to step up to a dedicated faster camera. So which camera should you choose? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that if you're gonna be shooting any type of video, you wanna go for the Canon SL2 or 200D. With this articulating screen, it's fantastic to be able to see and compose these subjects. Uh, it's got that touch screen, so it's easy to pull focus. And of course, it's got that dual pixel autofocus for great autofocus and having that microphone jack means you can get some good audio. In terms of still shooting, both cameras will be really good. I really enjoyed using the Nikon D3400 for the last year. I think it's one of the best budget cameras you can get. It really is quick at autofocus and that battery life is fantastic. Pair up that with the, uh, the LCD screen on the back, which is really easy to see in the sunlight. This camera is also a great camera. So honestly, if you've got either of these two cameras, you should be very happy. Um, I like them both, so there you go. And guys, if you make YouTube videos, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list that I just made, the best cameras for YouTube. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video, and you can take a look. So that's it for me for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.